Yo, what's up people, my name is Tanachi and I'm back here in the world of Satisfactory. Alrighty, hope you're keeping well. Okay, let's get straight into this. So this is an old factory. I did a video on it roughly two years ago. I have since like changed the textures and from the old Fix It foundation, I put concrete and some black asphalt. I mean, this is one of the first few builds I ever did back in update three. And I also did a video on it as well about two years ago, which I've still got up. One of my first uh, Satisfactory videos, I think. But I've had in mind for some time to go through some of these old builds and, um, and basically rebuild them. I was in two minds to leave it as it is and just um like not down the foundations and stuff and like build a new structure around it probably prefer to work from scratch so what i'm gonna do is knock it down completely and build somewhere else close by in the desert but i want to get away from the obelisks i want to leave the desert like nice and open so the only thing you can really see is the obelisks but yeah so i'm going to be rebuilding this and i want to keep the same kind of structure so here we've got the train in the middle and on the left side we're doing uh, iron and on the right side we're doing the copper because we're in the desert again i'm going to stick with the ancient civilization kind of thing so that will make the desert much more themed towards the like, ancient civilizations which makes sense of course my last few builds have been like quite modern and I like jumping from like style to style it keeps it fresh keeps it different and on the front here I've got a tiny little building they're like five or six smelters doing like two three hundred uh, copper ingots and I've got a separate idea for that as well a tiny little build which I'm gonna do elsewhere so I'm gonna do two builds on this video both of them very different uh, one of them an ancient temple kind of thing and the second one uh, something to do with nature and I'm gonna knock down this old bridge as well. I did this some time ago, I won't be needing that after I uh, move the factory. And to be honest, I don't really want that bridge there. It kind of um, looks a bit weird. So we get rid of that bridge as well. And I'll have the train going on a different course to go to the new build. And this is also another old build that I did a long time ago, back, well, a similar time as the other one, two, two and a half years ago. And I think I showcased it on the same video as well. Um, after looking at it and uh, all the trains that are going through, and it's a bit of a logistical hub with a lot of connecting trains coming through. And I think it'll be too much of a pain in the ass to try and uh, do this, uh, work out exactly what's going where. And because uh, I can't remember, to be honest. I quite like the underneath side here. It's like super industrial. And I think quite grand about it. But this train I'm going to remove, as I said, this bridge. Because uh, it's just, I don't like this train track going up at that slant. Uh, so I'm going to remove all that as well completely. And both of these trains will be going in that direction. Although the top track will continue to go that way. But instead of going up across the bridge, it's going to go uh, over in that direction into the forest. But yeah, this is the coal pit and um, a very old build I've done a long time ago. I've changed well, most of the textures. Structurally, it's pretty identical to how I built it about two years ago. I think I'll keep this one. And maybe just change the top part because that one like I said it's too much of a pain in the ass to, to redo. This still leaves me two more builds that I did back in update 3 so again very very old. I've repainted the textures but structurally it's pretty identical to how I had it back in update 3. I've added a few beams and stuff like that but otherwise identical. This one I think I'll keep as it is because it's only like 30 constructors doing a tiny bit of quartz and then it just leaves this one uh, again done roughly at the same time uh, roughly two years ago done back in update 3. Again structurally identical the only thing that's changed is uh, I've painted some of the uh, foundations to the new textures. This one I'm not too sure either if I'm going to redo it or just leave it. Because uh, it's the only factory that I've got that is just a platform. I don't, I don't mind it to be honest, it's something different. Okay, so those are all my remaining update free builds. And these are all builds I need to keep unfortunately because uh, they're feeding Eden. The logistics of it is so complicated, I just can't remember what's going where exactly. So if I just rework them structurally, that's not a problem. But if I completely remove them and destroy the machines, uh, the new factory that I replace it with will have to have exactly the same. Uh, amount of production of the same items because as I mentioned they get all going to Eden and from Eden some things branch off to different locations and I just can't remember I'm not even going to try and work out what's going where so as long as I keep the production the same I can either redesign the exterior or redo everything completely with exactly the same production outputs alrighty let's get on with the show build is done and I've managed to get rid of this uh, the bridge that was coming down here I cleaned this up a little bit and so the both the trains are coming out this way now and the other train instead of going along this that big bridge that I had going across there instead the train track is going around on the right side which I think is much better instead of having this uh, huge bridge kind of like overshadowing the whatever that is that build that did over there the transformers thing the gold gate that's it but I've got this new bridge coming along coming along this way instead so this build didn't end up being quite like I originally I thought instead I did something a little bit different and I decided to go for like um, a bit like an insect I guess I'm not 100% convinced on the outside um, but as I mentioned that the same principle so the train in the middle 
and we've got iron on the left and the copper production on the right. Other than that, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, I was originally going to go for some kind of temple looking thing and I did actually originally start building just over there but then I, I kind of changed my mind because I didn't have enough space. It's kind of got like this uh, insect vibe uh, because of this so I was thinking we'll make it look like a mosquito at the front. But I did these kind of like claws at the bottom like the mosquito's mouth that kind of sucks blood. They give the impression that the um, thing is like sucking out ores from the uh, from the ground, something like that, I'm not too sure. And yeah, uh, it's coming on the inside. I did like the way the inside looked, like ancient Egypt kind of vibe with all these columns and the gold. Um, yeah, I'm liking the inside. It's definitely got a strong um, like Egyptian ancient temple kind of vibe going on. And this side we have the iron and I've kind of left little bits open where you can see the goods going into the train uh, from the uh, from this side which is doing the iron and on the other side uh, we have the copper again a little bit exposed so you can see the ores coming in and on this side you can see the the, what's it, the copper sheets wires and cables uh, going into the um, uh, the train station but yeah i like the the center part here like it's definitely got some ancient egypt vibe going on with this soft um, white lighting and lots of gold uh, foundations yes yes into the end here of the train station and i've called it june works again because um I, I don't know all these bloody builds i'm not sure what to call them anymore at the end of the train station i've got these um two areas leading out so we can uh, get access down to the floor but also i got like a viewing area so if you go in, on this side on the left which brings you to the viewing area of the copper side which I thought was pretty cool and going across uh, we've got the same thing again but of course for the iron this time yeah I thought that was pretty cool anyway this is a new June works build um, as I said I was trying to go for some kind of what well, more like of a temple um, I was thinking to do something that resembles a pyramid I kind of changed my mind and I thought I'd do something a little bit different the side profile is a bit weird definitely not the top profile the center section somewhat looks like uh, maybe it can fly maybe or ancient like um, flying mosquito thing and uh, those two bits on the side can be like modular factory so uh, the mosquito flies away and wherever it lands or well, it brings the modular factories that are relative uh, to the resources that is going to drain uh, from the from the ground and uh, so that's why i try to do the left and right side like they're kind of detached and that they're a little bit modular looking not quite sure that worked out but that was the idea but i like the front it's uh, very unusual definitely very unusual i think i might be able to get in a a slightly weirder every time but anyway that's replacing the factory that was over there as you could see completely gone nice and clean open desert i didn't kind of like that one in the middle there because it um kind of ruined the vista of the desert and the free obelisks and i don't mind the satellite thing at the back because that's really fine a distance i received a comment suggesting that possibly i take some pictures um, when i do my building of the progress and I forgot about it for the most part, but every now and then I remembered. So I took some pictures and I'll show them here quickly so you can kind of see roughly the progress of me building this, um, that whatever that mosquito thing is. And yeah, anyway, so I did some work as well to this old build. I'm not going to change this. I decided I'm definitely going to keep this. But instead what I did is I did a drone port and I had some batteries being brought here from Eden. And it's taking the bauxite because at the obelisk one of them is producing aluminium and there's no bauxite node anywhere near the desert as i completely removed the uh, the train that was going over there which was taking the bauxite as well i had to think of a way to get the bauxite from here uh, all the way to the obelisk i didn't want to put a train track going all the way over there and definitely didn't want to have like a conveyor belt going all the way through the desert so i put a drone here which is taking the bauxite so the train's just dropped off and you can see here the bauxite coming uh, to uh, that drone port and then the drone will take it all the way uh, to the uh, the far obelisk yeah all right that worked out okay considering it's two years old then an update three i can live with that i have done another little small build as well and this one i actually really like it's done all the way next to eden um if you remember at the beginning of the video i had like a small build like a small little um, section producing roughly 250 copper ingots uh, so heading back to the i'm not sure what this area is called uh, one of the starter areas in the northern forest kind of area close to it and not too far from me then as i mentioned i wanted to do roughly 250 
Um, what is it again? Copper ingot. So hardly any at all. It's a really, really small production. Probably the smallest factory I've done. Well, yeah, not including that Titan thing. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. And because it's really close to Eden, you can just about see the top of Eden, the roof on the left there. But as it's really close to Eden, um, what I tried to do was like um, the husk of an old tree. So like a huge tree trunk, like just the husk of it basically. And uh, I'm not sure exactly. Um, yeah, it's an old tree trunk. Kind of. Definitely the most unusual thing I've built so far. I did a video some time ago called the Citadel Freeform Curve Build. I used that technique to do uh, the kind of like irregular circle shape. And so you try to get it roughly in the shape of a tree trunk. And because when you use that technique, certain uh, foundations overlap. When you paint some of them, you get these um, unusual stripes where some of the foundations are like kind of like sticking through each other and not lining up properly. But I actually thought um, I like that effect how it came out because I wanted this to look a little bit battered and run down and not like um, yeah, just run down and old. But yeah, we've got the miner on the side here, just outputting 240 or 250 uh, copper ore of uh, a randomly placed battery. Not sure uh, why I've put that there. And over here, I've just got eight smelters, and that's it. Um, so definitely the smallest thing I've probably ever built. Probably the most unusual thing I've ever built as well. I mean, this is like something out of, um, I don't know, it gives me like Lord of the Rings vibe. Uh, what the Lorien or Loth Lorien with the... Uh, where the elves are. There's pictures of some elves like jumping from tree to tree now. That's pretty much it to be honest. Uh, just eight smelters outputting approximately 240 uh, um, copper ingots which are coming out here as you can see and this is like the back side and, and some pillars at odd angles like I was trying to get the impression that they're roots but but you can't get that brown color. Um, doesn't matter how dark you paint them. The pillars don't go too dark so I just I don't know, put them at angles and it helps to give that old rundown look. And uh, yeah, anyway, so that's the back. And on the left there, you can see the uh, the ore going in and the uh, ingots coming out. And they go along here, pass straight over Eden and then go to the aluminium factory, which is just on the other side of the, well, other side of Eden. This video has got probably the two weirdest builds I've done for, uh, for some time. Uh, but yeah, anyway, but I'm definitely liking this one. Very unusual, very strange. You know what I've come to realise? I'm playing Satisfactory, but I'm not really playing Satisfactory anymore. I'm playing this game really as a, more of an expression of design. Although I am still building factories and doing production, but there's definitely very little emphasis on what I'm producing and, and like what recipes I'm doing. And also, as I mentioned before, because a finite amount of resource nodes, but each one outputs an infinite amount of resources. And because of that, really, I'm not prioritizing uh, that kind of stuff with efficiency and um, and what recipe I'm using and stuff like that. I mean, I do do that, of course, but it's not something I'm really focusing on too much. But hopefully once they bring out the next update or whatever, uh, maybe they'll give us some new machines, maybe even possibly a new TR. I wouldn't mind doing going back to a bit of logic and doing another configurable star factory again. I think that would be pretty cool because I'm holding off doing another configurable factory, waiting like really for the next tier, which I'm assuming might be quantum computers and what they call the superposition oscillators. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool to include that in the any new customizable uh, factory that I do. So I'll save, I'll save that for the next factory. But as you can see here, the goods come along. Uh, the copper ingots on the top of Eden and then um, they kind of go into the roof, hidden in the roof. And then in, oh, hello, how you doing? And they'll come out here and then keep going all the way across. And then it heads to the old aluminium factory that I, I showed at the beginning as well. The train from the factory that I deleted was bringing the copper to um, help produce some aluminium. But as I deleted that now, of course, I need to um, replace the copper. So if you want to put support like that coming straight out of a miner, uh, you can let's delete yeah let's delete all that actually up to there so if you grab a pillar you can snap it uh, by holding the control button you can put a pillar right in front if you don't hold control it doesn't snap but as soon as you hold control uh, you can put it right in front of the of the miner and then use that to run a, a pillar across and which you can then use to uh, run a conveyor but as you can see it doesn't always allow you to snap so you can't snap uh, to that location but to get around that quickly if we just grab one of these and you just put a foundation uh, there you know if you grab a belt now and you put it for some reason even though it's not touching the foundation uh, it lets you um, run the conveyor um, just by putting a foundation there for some reason not sure uh, so sometimes I find using the uh, barrier and then holding control again, putting the barrier there and then grabbing a pillar 
and then snapping the uh, the barrier to the to that I find it usually gets it actually more in line because sometimes it's a, it's a tad too high let me get the belt again and as you can see it won't let you um, place the uh, the the belt down for some reason you just get yourself I'll do it again just in case you've got to put a foundation there and put another one just underneath it and now for some reason it lets you snap to that location and that sometimes depending on what you're doing can be a cool way to it kind of makes the uh, the conveyors look somewhat supported when they're coming out of the of the minor so here I've got the corner extensions a different placement to the regular uh, extension so if you put an extension normally of course uh, it's gonna look like that but if you want to get like a slightly smaller one as I've got there uh, what I've done to do that is um, get a beam and just put it one meter there and then for some reason when you snap it there as you can see it kind of overlaps a little bit so you're just making the um, the circle a little bit smaller and of course we just go around again um, this probably won't be that useful for most people I'm not sure uh, in case you're wondering how I got the the smaller circle I've mixed them up with different uh, textures and also I put like a beam um, as well going through them already what else and uh, the rest of it's pretty standard there's nothing really that uh, interesting elsewhere but this technique that I've done to do this like irregular uh, curve shape just check out that video that I did uh, called the Citadel and on there I go through that technique it's using like a train track which allows you to get like a irregular freeform curve shape okay so the first part of amending the uh, the old build is done that factory is gone nice clean open desert which I do like uh, just focusing on the obelisks remove those old bridges done back in update 3 uh, some drone pool here on this old building it was pretty cool it's from this ledge. Got a pretty cool view now of the desert. Um, yeah. Yeah, anyway. And the very odd looking um, mosquito type. Um, whatever. Whatever that is. As I said, I do like the inside though. Yeah, I'm liking it. I actually want to do something else now with this uh, style. With this gold colour and lots of pillars and columns. And the concrete foundations. You can get quite a good... Um, like ancient temple vibe. I wouldn't mind actually expanding on that as well. Uh, doing something else like a, maybe like a proper pyramid but I'm not sure where to put it that, I mean a pyramid would definitely have to go into the desert yeah definitely the best place for a pyramid uh, it would be well I guess you could put it over there uh, but the best place would be there really right in the middle of the desert I'm definitely not moving those obelisks yeah, I guess I could put it over there actually uh, but the thing is what would I, what would I produce in it nuclear but next i still want to uh, possibly look at those other two old factories as well i'll leave that one but the coal pit and the aluminium one all right so i think i'm going to call it there hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching and uh, maybe i'll catch you again soon